What's up guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be taking a deeper dive at some recently discovered Season 7 secrets and explaining to the best of my ability what it means. If you guys could do me a favor and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that would be much, much appreciated. Also, I want to give a shout out to one of my good friends, Legend of Cotton. Definitely go and check out his channel and subscribe in the link below. He He's posting all sorts of cool and interesting content you guys definitely aren't going to want to miss out, so make sure to sub him up. And of course, tell them I sent you. So right now, Fortnite is pretty popular. You could argue it's at its peak of all time, considering it just had 8.3 million active concurrent players for the Cube event, and lots and lots of people are playing, the community is thriving, etc. But what's kind of passed us by throughout Season 6 is the fact Season 7 is only one a month away. It actually starts on December 11th, meaning tomorrow, which is November 11th, by the way, Happy Veterans Day, marks the one month point from us getting a new season in Fortnite Battle Royale. <laughs> Where's this time going, man? I feel like Season 6 just started, and that's the same way I felt with Season 5 when it ended. Man, I feel like these seasons are going by fast. Where is the time going? But anyway, we do have a new season coming out on December 11th, which is in just a little over a month. Lots and lots of people around the Fortnite community over the past couple days and weeks have been really knocking their heads trying to figure out what's going on and if there's anything at all in the game right now foreshadowing the upcoming season. Well, let's go ahead and try and break this down. Let's see if we can uncover the Season 7 secrets. Let's start out by very simply looking at the release date, December 11th. Now, this season is going to encapsulate the entire winter period, including Christmas and New Year's, two extremely snowy holidays just by tradition. If you take a look at Season 6 here, just as an example, it went on during the time Halloween was out and they decided to base the entire theme of season six basically around halloween so i wouldn't put it past epic to put the entire theme of the season again around another famous holiday one that is arguably not even arguably it just is a bigger more prominent holiday so we have that going for it you also have the recent addition of the aim skin which is the hunting party skin you get after completing seven different weeks worth of challenges now, I've said this before, but if you actually take a look at his hands and at his legs, you can see very trace amounts of ice. Again, suggesting some kind of winter area, maybe. Earlier today, I made a video where I talked about this rift actually appearing to have a castle inside of it on the other side. Now, I don't know for sure, and obviously there's no way to tell for sure, but in the reflection, it definitely does look like a castle, and it looks kind of like the haunted castle we have in the game right now, just covered in snow in a winter environment. If you look at it from just the right angle, you can see it's up on a hill, much like the Haunted Castle is, and you can see very obvious walkways, suggesting this is a current area in the map, just kind of foreshadowed to be snowy. So right there you have three very, very clear, at least in my opinion, uh, hints of the upcoming season. I feel like just because it's naturally going to be in the winter months, kind of along with Christmas, and all the recent hints by the AIM skin in relation to the storyline, it looks like we may be on our way to a snowy map for Fortnite Season 7. Now, a lot of people have been in my comment section in the last, like, six hours since I posted the first video of today, asking and trying to figure out what's going on with that reflection with the castle that is very clearly inside of that rift. And I've seen a lot of people say, you know, they can't see it, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure how, because it's pretty clear how it looks like there is for Shari Castle in that rift. You know, it's pretty evident by most people's standards. Now, I definitely don't know for sure, but let's just use our brain here let's break this down and let's think logically so this reflection is in a rift now if we assume that hypothetically this rift is leading to this location this you know haunted hills location or haunted castle type thing that means you would have to be teleported right above it i mean when you enter a rift you very briefly for a quick moment enter this white area that is probably the same area that is the butterfly dimension you know the in between for that very brief moment, you get knocked into complete whiteness, and then you end up right above in the sky. There very clearly seems to be a connection between the in-between, which is, of course, a name fans have given the butterfly dimension, because Donald Mustard kind of teased that by changing his location on Twitter 
to be the in-between. He's since changed it, but for just a brief moment, he did change it to that, so fans have recently thought and speculated this is basically a name, the official name for the butterfly dimension. But there's for sure gotta be a link between the in-between, the butterfly, which we saw in the event, and the castle that we can see through the rift underneath the Wailing Woods bunker. I wonder if what we're seeing through the rift is an alternate dimension of the future, showing what Haunted Hills is gonna look like in the next season with the new snow terrain. We still don't know why there's a rift down there being studied by an extensive research laboratory and why these people are desperately trying to figure out what's going on with that rift. We think they're trying to recreate that, you know, that possibility, but for what reason? People point out to me all the time that because of the ice on Ames' hands and feet, he could very easily be from this place. He could be from the future. And if that's so, that would quantify him as a time traveler. Is he some kind of an interdimensional traveler? If you remember back to a couple of my other videos from earlier this week, I laid out a bunch of different theories about time travel or different timelines, alternate dimensions. And if this is true, that would definitely line up with everything I'd said previously. There's even the possibility, the slight possibility that the rift, the place we see through the rift, this castle, is almost like a warning saying, aim, this guy's coming and he's gonna turn the map into this. So almost saying he's gonna turn our bright, vibrant, you know, our, our living map into a complete frozen wasteland. And I mean, to be fair, that's still as possible as any other thing we say because I mean, nobody knows what AIM is doing. Nobody knows his real intentions. He could very easily be someone who's evil. We don't know. We don't know anything about him because he hasn't even appeared in a loading screen yet, and that's kind of startling. I'm assuming he's gonna appear in the next one. I feel like he has to. What if these scientists at the lab in Wailing Woods end up getting their goal? They end up being 100% successful. What would that mean? So if they actually figure out how to recreate that rift and how to teleport us to and from anywhere, why would that be a win for them? Well, if they could figure out how to use the rift and how to teleport people, they could teleport people to any other dimension anywhere else. They could literally open a portal to anywhere. I'm kind of sensing that if that comes true, there's a good chance Epic is going to use that later down the road to quantify a new map. That would be a great transition because, I mean, let's face it, Fortnite's six and a half seasons in. We've had one map. Yes, the map's been updated from time to time, but for the most part, the same base map. And I feel like at some point, they're going to have to make a change or at least put in a second map alongside the main one. Other popular Battle Royale games like H1 and PUBG did the same thing, and I think Fortnite will have to at some point too, and making it so we can literally teleport to anywhere would make a perfect excuse for us to teleport away from this map and to another one. Your thought counts. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below about everything I went over here in today's video. Honestly, the best way I come up with theories is feeding off of your guys' energy and off of your guys' input because obviously you guys are very important and it means a lot when you comment. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like and sub. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.